Hello everyone. So last time I, when I was working on this project, I noticed few issues regarding the last scene location visualization. See, see here, as you can see, my last scene location was visualized multiple times and updated. But this just seems unnecessary because uh, all I want is when the characters, when NPC characters has lost me, I just need to indicate a general location where they will be searching me and here this happens too quick see and even when this after they see me the silhouette is there until it times out so I need to fix those issues in this episode to avoid unnecessarily rendering the last scene location silhouette oh before that in case you don't know this is the full playlist of this project that i have worked on all the features including this last scene location visualization there are a couple of episodes that i worked on this uh, rendering of the last scene location this one and this one so if you haven't seen them i would suggest to go and see them i'll leave the link in the description below and also the project files of this project is available here in the pattern page for you to download all right now let's get back to the project and here let me show you the place that i enable a last scene location which is this show last snapshot function in AI NPC now instead of show I'll name this toggle last snapshot and then I'll add an additional input show or show or hide if it is true we need sh if it is true we need to show if it is false we need to hide it all right now here let's have a branch if this is true true we are going to show that if it is false we just need to hide it so here we have this bp last scene blueprint this is what we are using to visualize the last scene location of the character and here we create an act of this blueprint if we don't have if we don't already have a last scene bp last scene actor in the level and then here we call this text snapshot function so this one also i'll change instead of take i'll call it toggle snapshot and add an input show height now i'll promote this immediately to a variable so that you can keep the state and reference it later on and if this is true that means show we can take this path otherwise we can hide this set actor hidden in game set it to false okay now here the, in this case we need to call it with uh, true otherwise we can again get this with a validation and call toggle snapshot with a false so this will hide right now where do i call this yeah so this is when we lose sight of the target so that means I need to call this toggle last snapshot with a true but when we actually detect 
a character that happens here in the update target if you do have a valid target here this is update target function at the end if we do have a valid target on the current target we you know we can call uh, toggle last snapshot with the call it on the current target with the force that means we need to hide it okay now let's see if the hiding part works here yeah, got detected okay so now as you can see it's there but once i go into the view it disappears see see it disappears but still it appears too fast that we need to work on now how do we avoid appearing in the last scene location too quickly so for that here this is where we take the snapshot and this is where we make it visible so i think let me just delete this part and here uh but it would be enough if we show if we show the snapshot maybe after two seconds that should be enough to avoid over uh, like repeatedly showing the visualization and after two seconds let's again check if show hide is true if yes we can call set actor hidden in game call it with a false so this will appear okay let's check yep i got detected and hide see now it's there so i don't get repeatedly shown the last scene location see it only appears there after a couple seconds two seconds actually to be exact and once I go into the view, it disappears. See, it disappears. Okay, so I think that's better than what we had earlier. So yeah, that's all I want to cover in this episode. And thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available here in the Patreon page. I'll leave the link in description below. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.